Before Shopify, were you wondering, where my sales at? Now you're selling with Shopify, the global commerce platform supercharging your selling. You have no problem selling online, in person, on social media, and beyond. Gary, easy on the cha-ching. <clears throat> oh, sorry, but my Shopify sales are through the roof. Start selling with Shopify today and discover how millions of businesses around the world use Shopify to ignite their selling. Sign up for a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash listen. Shopify.com slash listen. Introducing Allbirds' new Wool Runner 2, redesigned to redefine comfort. Extra cushioning offers a plush ride, and premium materials deliver a cozy fit. Go to Allbirds.com and use code FRESH24 for a free pair of socks with purchase today. The movie Jaws was released in 1975 and set the standard for the summer movie blockbuster as we know it today. Spawning sequels and quite bizarrely a kid's game based on this horrific and bloody feature film known as The Game of Jaws. In this episode of the Dandy Funhouse, I wanted to bring you The Game of Jaws, but not only is it no longer made, it's become very sought after as a collector's item and it's really expensive to acquire and honestly... I'm too cheap to buy it, and I just really don't like you guys enough to shell out that kind of dough. So instead, I did the next worst thing. I bought a more modernized game with the same basic premise and an overall better looking design that only cost 20 bucks. It's called Shark Bite, and I'm gonna unbox it, set it up, teach you how to play, and give you some fun facts and history along the way. It's time to drop the cage into the water, old chum. Let's dive into the fun house. <laughs> Where am I? You just entered the Dandy Funhouse! Hello, and welcome to the Dandy Funhouse video show podcast and blog. I'm your host, Neil Dandy, and this is where we explore the darkest depths of retro pop culture, toys and games, and all the fun stuff. In this episode, we're going to have some fun with the game of Shark Bite from a company called Pressman. Pressman Toys and Games. It was founded in 1922 by a man named Jack Pressman, who started the company with a gung hay fat toy bang by unleashing the game of Chinese checkers upon the world. It was originally called Hop Ching Checkers. Jack Pressman ultimately made his fortune by licensing the rights to release toys and games based on popular characters of the time, like Dick Tracy and Little Orphan Annie. For the next several decades, Pressman was responsible for many of the classic Golden Age Disney toys and games, and in more recent years, games like Triominoes, and home game versions of game shows like Deal or No Deal, Jeopardy, Wheel of Fortune, and Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. In 2014, Pressman Toy Corporation was purchased by Goliath Games from Deutschland. Well, enough of my yammering. Let's get to the unboxing. All right, so here we have the game of Shark Bite. Let's have a look at the box. Pretty neat box, though. You know, it's got a bunch of like worms and crabs and lobsters. Now I'm getting hungry. I haven't had breakfast yet, and I am filming this and recording this in the morning. Shark Bite, here's the top of it. it says, Snag the fish and the winner, but if the shark. Wait, 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 no. Snag the fish and be the winner. But if the shark jumps, you'll be his dinner. Oh, okay, it's a, it's a rhyme, gotcha. Snag the fish and be the winner, but if the shark jumps, you'll be his dinner. There we go. Good look. You know what? They did not skimp on the design for the outside. I like this. Snag the fish and be the winner, but if the shark jumps, you'll be his dinner. Even the bottom has a cool design. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of the same all around. And on the back, as usual, you get uh, you get kids playing. If you, uh, it kind of gives you the synopsis really good. You roll a die, uh, catch fish with your fishing rod. But watch out. When the shark jumps out of the water, you lose. And tells you what all it includes. Okay, well, let's, let's bust it open, baby. What, what do we have in the box? Well, we have the pieces, which you need to fish out of the shark's mouth. 
in a nice plastic bag there. You have instructions. We are only gonna refer to the instructions if we have no other choice, because that's how we do it here on the Dandy Fun House. And then I think we got the star of the show coming out. Everybody out of the water. Everybody out of the water. Everybody out of the water. Hey, let's, uh, should we lose the box? I think maybe we should lose the box. Put the box off to the side. Shark, very nicely packaged and protected there. And it looks like it's all ready to go. Oh, it already, I didn't even start playing and the thing already jumped out at me. Okay, it's uh, it's got kind of a, what do you call this? Kind of a, a cloth outside. It's kind of a tough cloth, kind of, kind of like tent cloth, I would say. The shark is blue. There's no eyes on the shark. Oh, you have to put, you have to stick your own eyes on this one too. <laughs> so, so let's see if I can do that without it being all wonky. And then my understanding is you spread the jaws, you push the whole assembly down until it locks into place. And then if you pull the wrong one, it jumps out and bites you in the face. Now I've got it locked down. And, uh, well, how do I release this? I, I guess you have to play it to release it. And it does not look like it takes any batteries at all, which is great. It looks like it's just a spring-loaded mechanical toy game. Game with a toy. What, what did I used to call it? Or toy with a game. Yes, a twag. I think that's what we have called these things, toy with a game. So let's dump the contents here. You know, they should have stuck the eyes on for you. You know, every kid's going to get this. Oh, look, the the... I, you guys listening to the podcast can't see this, but you have to put the stickers on the die, too. I mean, come on. <laughs> I, I got to put the stickers on the dang die? You got to be kidding me. Okay, so I got some work cut out. So we got the fishing pole here with the hook. So obviously to fish the stuff out, you get two of them. So... Two pe everybody, uh, well, if you got two people, they can each have their own pole, I suppose. And my understanding is that you got crabs. Uh, well, we got fish. More fish. Looks like it's mainly just fish and crabs. And, oh, you got a lobster, too, in case you want to go high end. And there's no garbage like the game of Jaws. There's no boat wheels and you just kind of stick them down in these little holes here like, like so and you fish them out until the shark jumps up and and get you now i want some seafood i i believe red lobster might be in my future but you know if i can't afford the original game of jaws i sure as heck cannot afford to uh visit the Cheddar Bay and get my biscuit fix. Did they give me an extra game piece? I think they may have given me an extra game piece because I appear to be out of holes and I still have a game piece. What is up with that? Uh, yeah, yeah. And you, you just keep pulling them until the shark jumps out at you. Eventually, one of these is supposed to make it jump. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. So it does. And I, I, I guess my understanding is that whatever's in the bottom here, whichever one triggers the jump, it mechanically rotates. It's got to on some kind of spring mechanism. And so it's got to change which one jumps every time. So let's get the rest of the stuff out of here. I apparently have got some stickering to do. Got the green eyes here. And then we have the stuff we got to stick on the die. So I will uh, start with the die and end with the eyes. Because I think the eyes are going to be the more dramatic thing. So the stickers here. Oh, it tells you how many fish you're supposed to pull. Okay. We got a sticker for the die, which is weird. I guess that... That's probably the one where it just shows you an image of the die. Probably means you get to roll again. 
Uh, and then the rest of the stickers, you've got five of them. Oh, the die has six sides, correct? Okay, well then I don't know what that other one's for. But you have four single fish and one double fish. So I guess if you roll the double fish, you get to pull two. I'm not, I don't want to read the instructions. Not doing it. I refuse and you can't make me. So while I'm doing this, I gotta say, it's pretty obvious that the inspiration for this game had to have come from the game of Jaws, which as I stated during the intro, was a game marketed to kids back in 1975. About the horror movie Jaws, a great white shark goes crazy, eats everything and everyone. I played the game of Jaws when I was a kid. It was an ugly looking plastic shark. It was kind of gaunt, actually. You had to put the stickers on for the eyes like we're doing here if I recall correctly. So every kid I knew with this game had an ugly shark with eyes stuck on all wrong. Then you had to hook these rubber bands into its mouth to make it open and close. And to keep the mouth open, you piled garbage into its mouth to weigh down the jaws. And then you'd fish stuff out until the weight got light enough in its mouth to where the rubber bands would close the mouth. And if it closed on you, it was game over, man. Game over, you lose. Now years later, this very same game was rebranded and sold as Sharky's Diner. See, I told you you'd learn something new today. And it appears that the die is all ready to go go here. So we'll just set that aside. And yeah, I, I did a not so great job either, but they're easy to peel off and reposition if you don't like if you don't like the quality of how you've done, but I'm, I'm just gonna leave it funky. I, I, I just don't care enough. I just, I just don't care. Hey, okay, now you gotta be careful. It, it's easy to get the eyes wrong here. So I'll, apparently I must be holding the, the left eye. Yeah, yeah, you kind of look at the, at the way the eyes are formed and then you can figure out the correct one. So do it very, I have learned with stickers, you want to do them very, very lightly at first in case you need to adjust. And I think I did an okay job on that, on that eye. There he is, kind of glaring at me right now. We got one more eye to stick. And, and see if, how I do on this one. It's, it's kind of clunky to do. I mean, come on, Pressman. How hard would it have been just to just to stick the eyes on that? It's, it's not it's not perfect, but I don't think anybody could tell the difference. So, got the eyes on, and I think this is going to be pretty short and sweet because I've already demonstrated how to play. And the great thing is, this thing has no batteries. I like it, and it looks good. Oh, forgot the forgot the shark fin there on the back. That that is amazing. Okay. Let's lose the instructions here and just show what we need to. All right, we're gonna pry open the mouth. We're gonna press it down. It's just a big, a big spring. It's like an accordion spring. You can hear the mechanism rattling inside. You open the jaws. It's the the whole game is just uh, one giant spring-loaded contraption. It's kind of like a bear trap almost. And then you just take all the fish and you shove them down into these holes. I think they gave an extra one in case you lose one. That's what I've, the only thing I can really gather here. And it's not really important because this game appears to be one of those that just could not possibly be simpler. And I like simple. It doesn't need to be complicated. It needs to be fun. There we go. And just stick them on in there and the there's little ball ends on the part you stick down into the mouth so it kind of sets into the triggers all right let's roll this die and make it make it make it happen okay roll the die okay i have one fish Supposed to fish for one fish. It doesn't really matter. I, you're not allowed to grab two. I did. I did do a little research on how to play this, so I could not waste your time. 
You're not allowed to like double hook or anything like that. Just one single fish is all you're allowed to do. And kind of pulls up a little sleeve back there. And I guess if the sleeve is the one that triggers it off, then it sets it off. And you just don't know which one it is. All right. And uh, that, that fish went a flying, but didn't trigger the shark bite. Roll again. One fish. Uh, let's try for a crab here. I think that's crab. Yep. Oh. And they they kind of don't stay on the hook real well. They kind of fly off the hook if you pull them up with the force you kind of need to to unlatch them from the shark's mouth. One fish. Well, it's a, well this is pretty easy, but one fish. Little kids will enjoy this. I think adults will like this too for a little while. They'll play it with their kids and have fun. It's just the way it looks, and I can't get the, the hook to turn, so I guess there is kind of a chance. There we go. I mean, it couldn't possibly be easier to do. Oh, wait, wait let's uh, roll again. Maybe I'll get the two fish. Nope, I just keep getting the one fish. That's okay. Oh! And the shark bites me and I lose. Well, no, the game stops now and everybody counts their fish or their, their game pieces. Now, if it bites and it gets the fish and you don't get the fish out of the mouth, you can't sit there and force it out. If it bites and catches your fish, then you don't get that fish and it doesn't count. So there you go. The game of shark bite inspired by the game of jaws i mean it couldn't possibly be anything else but i do like it it's it's got a great look it's built simply built solidly this is not cheapy plastic that if you drop it it's going to break no batteries how nice is that to have a game or a toy that springs to life for you that's you know you got something you can hold in your hand and have fun with and play and you can chase your brothers and sisters around the room and scare the heck out of them. And I mean, I gotta tell you on a scale, scale from one to 10, I gotta give this, I, I, you know what? I'm gonna deduct one point because I had to put the stickers on myself. But then again, that's kind of the fun of it too. So yeah, you know what? I'm not gonna deduct a point for that. Although the stickers are kind of coming up here. I get the feeling they're not gonna last long on there. But overall, oh, and you got to put the stickers on the die. I mean, come on. It, I know 20 bucks for the game. You know, I get a lot of games with toys that are like $14 and things like that at Buzz and do everything. I, and I, I never have to put stickers on the die. So, I, I mean, couldn't you just print what you wanted on the die? I mean, you make me do the stickers. But, I mean, that makes also kind of a fun project as well. So I don't want to complain too much about that. I'll tell you what, I'll give it a solid eight and a half here because uh, I think everyone can have fun with this. Adults are going to get bored with it pretty easily, but kids are going to have a whole lot of fun. And when you're sick of playing the game, you got this cool shark toy that you can ah, chase people around with. <laughs> and if you'd like to chase me around the bank, I would appreciate that, especially if you're supporting the Dandy Funhouse, which is, you know, one of the ways that would help me pay for going out and shelling out the 20 bucks for stuff like this to tell you all about. If you'd like to support the production of future episodes, you may do so at the Dandy Funhouse website, dandyfunhouse.com. I mean, where else? And there's a patronage page on there, and you can either be a supporter and you'll get access to exclusive bonus material. Or you can become a super supporter and you'll get access to that exact same bonus material. But I will also mail you something really cool from right here at the Dandy Funhouse Studios if you provide your mailing address. Yes. And, you know, um, if you are listening to the podcast and you have a podcast player that supports the podcast 2.0 protocol 
I don't know if you know what that means, but basically it means you can kind of interact with the podcast. You can make donations right there through your app and things like that. If your podcast player supports that, you know, make a donation through there. That's really uh, helpful. And five-star reviews are always highly appreciated. All right, my stumpy little aquanauts, that about chomps this installation of the Dandy Funhouse. Flap your little flippers on back here soon. I'd like to see you again right here where everything is always fun and dandy. <laughs> Do 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 do. Can you save the fish? It's Shark Bite. Carefully reach in and save the fish. But watch out. You never know when the lurking shark will jump. Shark Bite's a big catch for even the greatest of fishermen. By Pressman, the makers of Let's Go Fishing. Introducing Allbirds' new Wool Runner 2. Redesigned to redefine comfort. Extra cushioning offers a plush ride, and premium materials deliver a cozy fit. Go to allbirds.com and use code FRESH24 for a free pair of socks with purchase today.